if you want to become a master of ad living your sessions, meaning off scripts, had no nothing, no cue cards, nothing to prepare ahead of time, and just be with your clients without even worrying whether or not they'll get a breakthrough because you're just confident in your ability to help your clients, then listen to this because it is through this one principle that can lead you towards that path of truly becoming a master in conversational hypnosis and giving your clients the breakthroughs that they desire. And so this one skill is really just by knowing how to take your client's responses and use their responses, find the unconscious information within that response and utilize it to guide their client to guide our clients to go and get to the root cause and find their own answers and solutions. Now, I just realized that there were three steps, but these three steps are going to be very, very helpful, super simple. But again, this is the simplicity that we get to work out like a muscle, put the reps in, because if you master literally these three things that I'll talk about again, you are going to be ahead of the game compared to the other hypnotherapists and transformational coaches who are going by a script or a template to guide their sessions. So again, when you ask your clients a question, they're going to respond, right? They're going to answer your question. So that is the, the first step is taking their answer, aka their response, and then finding the unconscious information. So that's like one and two, step one and two. Listen, first one is really listen to the response and then find their unconscious information and unconscious expressions within that and then utilize those unconscious expressions to help you guide the next question. Again, super simple, but this is not as easy as it sounds. So I know that sounds very like abstract, so I'll give you an example. A client comes to you and they're procrastinating on their business. And so you ask, whether you start the, the process with saying, okay, what's the problem? And our client goes into this conscious fluff of blah, 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 blah. I'm procrastinating in my business. I'm not consistent, blah, blah, blah. This, 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 and that. And they say they want to be consistent the whole time. So within that big response, you are you notice that they keep on talking about consistency, Right. And so based on that, you're going to formulate your next question based on that, what you have intuitively heard. So, okay, so you want to be more consistent in your business. And then they're going to respond again and say, blah, 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 blah. And say, they talk about fear. I'm afraid of putting myself out there, something along those lines. So based on that response and you hearing the unconscious moment of fear of putting myself out there, you are then going to formulate your question based on the, the response that they give you of fear of putting yourself out there. So they're telling me that you are afraid of putting yourself out there. Tell me more about that. And then they respond. And again, and you, that is just the process. You're utilizing what they're giving you instead of saying, okay, I'm procrastinating my business. I'm putting myself out. Th I, I want to put myself out there. And us, because we've been taught this, just looking for a script and giving our clients suggestions as to how they love putting themselves out there. Those suggestions are not going to sit well anyway if they still have the root of the problem present. So by doing what I just suggested with response, utilize whatever is unconscious uh, within that response. And then um, face the next question on that. This is going to help us have those 15 minute breakthroughs that are truly transformational with our clients. And so if for some reason also, you don't know what unconscious expressions are, definitely let me know, comment unconscious moments, because then I can give you many of the videos that are in here talking specifically about what these unconscious moments are, what to look for and how to use them. So make sure you comment if you're unsure with that and I can definitely help you out with more information regarding that. But really it is by doing this that um, we can 
be a master of just allowing ourselves to ad lib and just be with our clients because it is through these sessions that is more going is going to be more uh, memorable for us and our clients because we're really just two humans having a ma an amazing conversation two unconscious minds talking to each other and we both know how um how much more powerful that is and also just imagine that you can talk to anyone and give them massive realizations and breakthroughs that's a pretty good party trick. <laughs> that is amazing. And if someone like last minute goes um, to you, can I have a session with you? And you're like, yeah, sure, because I don't need to prepare. I can just go for it. Imagine how good that will feel for you and for that client because you can help them faster, right? So great skill to have. And this is exactly why the skill set is taught inside our ACH trainings, because if we rely on the scripts and the regression and we'll rely on the transformational recording the thing that we're missing is allowing our clients to find their own answers um, for themselves even after working together so if we already train our clients within our sessions to find their own answers by asking them questions after our client leaves and after they process, even weeks to months after working together, this skill set has already been ingrained in them. So they are more likely to become solution oriented, right? That just makes sense. So it's amazing. It's an amazing gift that gives, um, not just for ourselves, but our clients as well.